Okay, if you're listening to this audio episode, you just need to go to the video on YouTube or on Spotify. If you're on Spotify, you can literally watch the video at the same time. Boy, mate. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar... Wait, what are we... The Pipe Guys. This is the Pipe Guys podcast. We've got me, mate, Nikolai. Cheerio. Mark, Mark Nikolai to my left. We got uh, across from me, we got... Zachary Nikolai, his uh, dearest friend and brother, and then we have Jared Burrows as well. We are the Pipe Guys, we're smoking pipes today. Just letting you guys know, this is a documentary about pipe smoking. We do not endorse the use of any tobacco products, whether it be pipe smoking, cigar smoking, any of that nature. Don't go to these websites such as BasisCigars.com, 1102Cigars.com, those are bad for you, so don't do it. And anyway, roll the intro. gonna keep that voice the whole time mm-hmm. i don't know we'll see <laughs> <laughs> all right the pot guys that'd be tough to keep up all right guys so we're here <laughs> we're doing something a little special today we're trying uh here you go we're trying something out um mark and i were practicing before how to pack a pipe how to light a pipe um i can't do how to lay pipe how to lay pipe not not with each other N- no that part we didn't practice Okay. That's just human nature. All right. All right. Yeah. But anyway, so we're going to walk you through the process of how to do it. Uh, we can't show you because uh, we already did it. But essentially, what you do is you pack your bowl, fill it up all the way, press it down, fill it up again, press it down a little harder. You do that about three times, light mm-hmm. it up with a match, soft flame preferably. And then pack it down a little bit more. And then once you light it again, that's when it's going to be like a cigar. It's going to be able to keep staying lit easier. Yeah. So After about five minutes, I pack it down again. Um, yeah. And that that has appeared to help. When it starts to go out, like pack where it Jared's down. Jared's at, I would pack it in right now if I was you. Yeah, I just need a little tool. I think uh, oh, yeah. we all need tools now instead of just everyone using mine, but it's okay. I'll um, just uh, use my, my, th- my old thumb, man. Eh? Yeah, you know, no, no one cares about a black thumb, you know. But uh, so the chaps say, yeah, and uh, mine's probably pretty burnt though, so I don't know. Let me see. No, that's fine. No, no, it's good. Anyway, a couple of announcements. Uh, we actually have some new providers of the basis cigar. This beautiful cigar right here that we all know and love. The basis cigar can also now be found at. Blend and Barrel in Sanford, Cigar Hustler in Deltona, and we are actually going to be doing an event at City Wine and Cigars in Deland, technically, I believe, or DeBerry, one of those places, uh, also in Florida, Volusia County. So be on the lookout for those announcements at The Cigar Guys on social media. We'll keep you posted if you're in the area. Come check us out. But uh, so, all right, those are the announcements. Uh, uh, maybe I can light my bloody pipe now. We should do that more often. There's announcements. Yeah, when we have something to announce, we'll do it. We always have something to announce. Oh, I guess, you know, like uh, your sister last night, you know? Oh. Not me, the other chap. Ooh. What? Zach, how you liking it? <laughs> uh, silence is always the answer. Zach's getting Whether it's lit. good silence or bad silence. Someone like mine up here. Jared, how you enjoying it so far? It's pretty good. It's pretty light, though. I'm so used to like, you know, darker Maduros all the time. But what are we smoking, actually? This is a Davidoff uh, um, Danish mixture. I'm not sure uh, exactly what that means. I do know it's a little sweet. Yeah, yeah. Danish tobacco. It is black, it so I'm assuming this the, is a stronger one. Um, It feels like it. So if you look at the bloody... Manufactured in Denmark, Danish mixture... Uh, Danish tobacco, uh, something like that. I don't know. Is, oh, I didn't is make pipe tobacco stuff. big there? Um, I don't know. It says Danish mix on it, so. I know pipe tobacco is pretty big in, uh, Ireland, Scotland, places like that. Is it really? Yeah. Not really an American thing. 
Unless you're old and retired and have nothing better to do. I feel like it's just because we're lazy. It's not us. We got good cigars. We don't got to worry about, you know, you just light it and you're done. Exactly. We got to cut it first, but yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was doing much better before the podcast started. Now it's going out. I'm doing really good. Yeah, Mark is an expert. It it is pretty good. It's super light, though. Like, really, really light. Try this out here. See, mine feels stronger, to be honest with you. You definitely don't get the smoke output of a cigar. No. Zach's having some real trouble. Zach's not going to say a word this whole podcast. Either that, he's going to rage quit and get a cigar. Should we smoke this and a cigar at the same time? Oof. Like compare and contrast? Hand it. You know, hand it. I think we could. I think Zach's going to start tasting burnt metal by the end of this. I feel like there's like an air leak. An air leak. There's well, a, that, hole, that there's a like hole a, in your pipe. That is like a two dollar pipe from Amazon. <laughs> Alibaba. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> China made these pipes. You, you skipped the drop shipper. I can tell that it's the... too tightly packed. So I'll try to loosen it. it. Zach freaking goes Hulk in there. Mine's working. Jared, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, it's an interesting hobby, for sure. More sophisticated than a cigar. Cigars are for men of the Latin cultures, where these fine European gentlemen, we enjoy our pipes. Take things a little slow, you know, we go have breakfast for about three hours, and then we go to work at 12, and then we work for about two hours and have a early dinner, and then we hang out with the chaps, and, you know, that's why nothing ever gets done in Europe. <laughs> I would know. I spent two whole weeks there. I could tell from the accent. Yeah, you know, it's funny, really. When you start smoking a pipe, your IQ doubles, sometimes mm. triples. Mine's definitely not going to triple because I'm already capped out, as they say, mm. as the young would say. As the young would say, I'm calling cap on that IQ thing. Well, to each his own, really. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, <laughs> how, how you liking the flavor? Yeah, the flavor is so different for me. It, it's, it like, is very different it's so than a different. cigar. Yeah. No, I do like the flavor a lot. Do you? I'm not a big fan of the flavor. I like it. I, I agree. I'm not a fan either, but I'm more fascinated about the draw. It's lighter, but I have a really good draw, so the flavor goes in my mouth, and it dissipates so fast, though. Mm. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I or, like, I'm smoking like Maduro. You know, the actual Maduro cigar, it usually stains your teeth and your taste buds. I want the really long one, like Gandalf, where it's like yeah. out here. Yeah, so you just hold out here. You know? Yeah. I wonder if this is considered mewing. <laughs> <laughs> is mewing goaded? <laughs> the OG, this is how the OGs had a, a sharp jawline. You just keep it in your mouth the whole time. Right. For most of us, yeah. our beard is so thick, you can't even tell our jawline. Yeah, exactly. That's why you I don't even know if I have a jaw, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's why I keep my beard. I got no jaw. It's just straight. Good. <laughs> See, I have the perfect jawline, but you wouldn't know because I have a beard. I just like the beard more than the jawline. You know? So you're saying you have a perfect beard, a bad jawline, but covers it up? No, I have a perfect jawline, but you wouldn't be able to tell because I have a beard. All right, shave it tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, Zach is no. not enjoying this. Look at him. Look at his face. He got like really spicy, I guess, for me trying He's to light impatient. it all the time. I told you, you got to be slow. You can't let it overheat. You're an impatient guy, so this is not for you. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Zach's just going for the cigar. Rage quitting. What are we at? Five minutes? Five minutes in. He's done. He's grabbing a beta. He's wasting no time. Look at him. Look at him go. He's stressing. He's like, I need that cigar. I need it. <laughs> Don't cut your fingers now. Oh, man. There's going to be a crazy edit for that. There's going to be blood everywhere. God damn, he cut that aggressively. Hey, that's how I used to have to cut scars. <laughs> He's not even wasting time toasting. <laughs> <laughs> man, I feel so, like, sophisticated with this. I feel like a proper gentleman. I feel very distinguished. Very distinguished. 
And the peasant sitting across from me, uh, lighting his bleh, cigar. Nothing better than nothing a smell. Nothing distinguished about a cigar. Nothing better than the smell of a besa. What do these go for? Do you remember? Uh, you bought us a year ago. I thought Four you said three years ago. Fourteen. They're probably like twenty now. Mm. Bidenomics. Brexit. Brexit. Mm. Mine's still lit now. Okay, we're good. Oh, Zach is gonna be so happy now. There we go. Ah, he stole my idea. I was gonna do that. Let's see what works. It, it, it's a little bit. It is burning. Yeah. The draw is a little stiff. Sounds like you have an air leak. Somewhere. That's what I said. Yeah, it does sound like that. Hmm. Oh, that's not you doing that blowing out. No. There's two other pipes here. Yeah, you definitely got an air leak. That's not gonna fit in those. It might. That one there. Definitely. Right. That one there. This is how badass are made. Is smoke pipes and cigars at the same time. We actually had a couple of people in a lounge, so they have a pipe shaped cigar. True. It's pretty cool. There you go. Like, this is all tobacco? Is that what you're saying? Pipe shaped? It's like a little L, little L shaped cigar. What's funny is they do make inserts for your pipe that have different sizes, so you can smoke different sized cigars with your pipe. <laughs> oh man how's that base of pipe tobacco hey what, what are the odds you go into uh the local lounge and do that one out of three all right one two three two, two. sick dang guess we have to now all we, of just, us. we just we just gotta flip the label so like notice how i'm talking mm. more look at that you believe that i get yeah this good i get the cigar I'm talking. We got a few of those. Remember when the label was like upside down? <laughs> yeah, it's not a mistake. It's the pipe edition. It's literally made for pipes. So you can have the label facing the proper way. Ugh. But yeah, so we obviously are not experts in this, but we are expert in cigars. So make sure you check out the ultimate guide to cigar smoking in the description. There's a link there for you to check it out. All of our knowledge and other people's knowledge have been put into this book. Just a little guide for you. Some fun uh, tips and tricks in there. Some stories. Some recommendations as well. We have 10 cigar recommendations that we truly love that are in there. So check that out. And uh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? You quit too? Yeah. I just, I, you know, we, we've been smoking before the pod. Uh, oh, man. Me and Alex were on time. Uh, yeah, some of us were not on time. <laughs> so we were here for about 30 minutes early. Can I uh, see the, the polka? The tapper? Huh? Can I see the bloody tool? Thank you. Mm, okay, now that has some good flavor. This is a shot right here. Go back. Yeah, that's a great shot, Our audio listeners are going to love that. ASMR, ASMR, ASMR. So basically... Um, I've concluded that pipe smoking, um, especially if you're a novice, makes you angry. That was not me. I apologize for the way I just reacted, guys. That is not me at all. That was uh, wait. So you gave up too? I'm the only one doing this. I didn't give up. I mean, I was. I've been. I've been doing this. All right? Yeah. If you were on time, we'd also mm. be doing it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's the other letter? All right, guys. My turn. This is a uh, the cigar guy's ultimate Damn guide to cigar smoking in action. That we're all smoking the same thing. Cigar and pipe smoking. I think this is gonna be thanks way more fun. I don't want to waste this though. So smoke it. Yeah, that cost me about just finish it twenty cents. Yeah, you know, Jared's speed running through it. That might work better in yours because you have the only real pipe here. Could you? I don't know. The draw's a little weird. Could you get the basa leaves ground down like that so we could pipe smoke the basa like for real? I mean, technically you could, yeah. Could you nice up the base of flavor and spice in a pipe? Well, can't you just take a regular basa and just put it through a grinder? I uh, know, but I'm saying, can you just buy it from you know? Yeah, or buy it just, that way. Or you just take the cigar and put it through like a magic bullet, you know? And just do 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 do, <laughs> and just try that. Yeah, you don't get you don't get. It. As much of a smoke output. No, you don't. It's weird. <laughs> that looks weird, Zach. I'm not going to lie to you. 
<laughs> I feel like <laughs> it, was, it was just a test. No, you definitely need like the uh, the inserts if you're gonna do it. Unless you find a cigar that, like literally fits perfectly in here. Oh, another announcement. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out, uh, <laughs> Alex and Jared were featured on uh, Cigar Hustlers podcast. That is true. New episode of the Cigar Hustlers podcast dropped uh, the 16th of January. Uh, we were on there for half the episode talking about the base of cigar and stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying facts. But uh, so go to like the 28 minute mark and then that's where we are. Uh, but yeah, so the Cigar Hustlers is selling the base of cigar. So we just debuted that. We're going to do some uh, events, some rolling uh, promotional stuff there too. So um, I just realized too. This the draw on this one's a little iffy, so that might be why it wasn't working. What? I don't know. I was confusing about that. There's no. never a problem with that cigar. <laughs> well, this one dried out. I left this one out. I just realized that. Yeah. So it wasn't a manufacturer error. It was a user error on my okay. part. Sounds better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It always the base. Of, what the <laughs> okay, if you're listening to this audio episode, you just need to go to the video on YouTube or on Spotify. If you're on Spotify, you can literally watch the video at the same time. Listen. While driving. You smoke a cigar sideways, so why wouldn't your pipe be sideways? I guess it, that makes sense. Sure. <laughs> Looks like you got a microphone. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, like, like the headset with the microphone. Uh, uh, smoking my base in a pipe. Better back up before I lay some pipe. Uh. Oh. Whoa. This guy just, this guy just rhymed pipe with pipe. <laughs> He's the next Tupac. <laughs> Yo. Quick, rhyme with orange. Yo. You can do that. Eminem smoking door hands. my Smoking my base of in a orange. pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you stop? Oh, oh my bad. Uh, Zach is going to be live performing at Cigar Hustlers. <laughs> smoking my base uh, in a pipe, using it as a microphone at night. Oh. Can you give me one of those? <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be a rap? Give me one of those. I'm not done, dude. I'm not done. Fucking Alex interrupted me, dude. He's uh, he's he's sound engineering right it's, now. It's okay, no, dude. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. Oh, my God. He, he doesn't. He doesn't Whoa. know the alphabet. <laughs> he doesn't know the alphabet. <laughs> oh man, I think the audience is thinking, "When is this episode actually going to start?" Yo, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. I'm about to be eating an orange while I'm looking at these hoes on Hinge. <laughs> uh, that did Jesus. not rhyme. Okay. Um, he ain't he ain't an orange. Called mumble rapping, dude. Mumble more. So if you guys couldn't tell, we had no topic for today. I feel, like, I feel like that's exactly what we forgot to do. No, we were smoking pipe tobacco, but obviously I'm the only one doing it. Technically. Well, if you're on time. Anyways, that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, he's actually going to burn his neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, last night he almost stabbed me in the eye with a cigar. Did he? Yeah. What, are you okay, Zach? People had to stop him. That, Zach, what, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Does it tickle your throat when you do that? Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what else tickles his throat. From the inside. What? Oh my God. I honestly don't think I could sit and enjoy a pipe. Dude, it, and it's so dirty. Like, my hands are filthy right now. I mean, my hands are clean, but... What's so dirty, Ben? <laughs> yeah, you had to perform surgery on yours. I just don't think you knew what you were doing. That too. <laughs> my teeth hurt. A uh, cigar doesn't taste as good no more because of that pipe tobacco. Mm. Uh, finally. I, I will say like it did alter the flavor of this after for me. Hello. Actually, yeah. Hello? <laughs> yeah, this tastes a little different. My palate's sensitive, though. I mean, like, if I have one bad cigar, mm. or like, uh, geez, if I have one bad cigar, it kind of ruins it for me for the whole day almost sometimes. Like, yeah. Like Especially a, if it's a strong nice. one. Yeah. Like if it's if it's a medium to full body cigar, 
with a bad aftertaste, bad flavor. It's a big cutter. Yeah. It's like, why do I even... I'm just done for the day. Well, like, I smoked a cigar. Um, it had a really strong sweet tip. I didn't know how to sweet tip when I bought it. But, man, it, it just ruined it for me. It ruined the whole day for me. The whole day. The whole, whole day. day. Whole day. I came it was back. Whole day. I came back and tried to smoke, like... Every day. Four hours later? Still bad. <laughs> you left and went home and came back? He had to go home and cry. Okay. I'm sorry, Basa. Never meant to hurt Did you. Did you see that thing? It was uh, uh, that Cordon guy, his daughter, was on TikTok. This album would be a millionaire before I'm 20. I work for my dad's company. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm taking all that money in order to buy real estate. How much is that paying you? <laughs> What'd she say? She was going to save up to buy like... I don't know. 300 grand worth of real estate or something. Yeah. And then she's like, and at the end of the video, she's like, now you have seven to $800,000 in real estate. And the guy's like, so you're not a millionaire. <laughs> you're almost a millionaire. Like, damn girl, how much did that pay you? So anyway, that was an, and are you single? That was a crazy, <laughs> that was a crazy fail for the pipe smoking community. Looks like we need to get the Great Lakes pipe and c- cigar See, and pipe we show. we should have had them mentor us we oh, should have yeah we should have should have no we, we got, still can we got call and be like yo go check out this episode look how embarrassing we are you know i don't know mark and i were doing good before the cameras were on yeah 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 you uh, were there sure. so you chose episode like 56 to finally get camera shy Is that what you're uh, honestly mine 54. was my, my second one was going strong also but uh i just didn't want to smoke it anymore you mark felt embarrassed no why would i feel embarrassed i was smoking it good my shit was staying lit I was pretty impressed. You know, that high school experience, you know? <laughs> packing, the, packing the bowls back in the day, boy. Oh, my God. You know, we weren't smoking no tobacco back then either. <laughs> what else do you use bowls for? Um, Cereal? They have like this herbal, herbal smoke. Herbal smoke. Ooh, that sounds good. It's a... Uh, Is it medicinal? It's like, you know, in movie props, when they uh, do... Uh, they have the cigarettes, but it's not like nicotine. Yeah, it's like a fake cigarette. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I've always been practicing. I've been practicing for this so for a, a long time. It's a fake pipe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a movie pipe. That's probably what they were smoking in Lord of the Rings. Gandalf, the red-nosed reindeer. Whew. I feel a lot more calm now. I feel like I'm not stressed out. Yeah, like, now, now that you're back to the cigar, right? Yeah, it's cigars are calming. You know, you don't got to worry about them. You light them. I feel, yeah, I feel like you got to worry t- too much with your pipe. You know, like probably because we're newbies, though. Like I'm sure somebody that's been doing it for a long time is like, well, that's true. I'm sure like new cigar smokers like when you don't know exactly like how often to puff or like if it goes out and you're like thinking about it and you start overthinking. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I feel like cigars at the same time are just way easier. Oh, a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. It was our first, you know. Hype experience is five minutes of fun. Fun, we'll call it that. But it's just like so easy to just cut it, light it, and then toss it in the ashtray when you're done. Exactly. I just exactly. I just felt my heart rate go down like significantly. Dude, blood pressure down. Vibes up. Up. Well, they up. Cigars. Smoking down, dude. Smoking down. Like this. Or up like this. Okay, so. Uh, let's talk about what's been going on in our world recently. Oh, I'm going to uh, Michigan pretty soon. We're sending our third best rep out to uh, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Don Christos Cigar Room. Shout out to Don Crystal Cigar Room in Michigan, by the way. They also carry the base of cigar. Uh, they've been selling that thing like crazy. There's Great always guys. some backhanded compliments somewhere. What? I said he was the best. You know, you know what you said. Third is still great. There's only three of us. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. So anyway, Don Crystal Cigar Room. Restaurant bar and cigar lounge delicious got to get their steak comes with potatoes comes with asparagus it's to die for apparently their burgers are really good too mm. but i was 
I tried the steak the first night I was there. You gotta I, try steak first. You know? Dude, I had to get a second night too. I couldn't switch it up. It was Dang. too good. So you gotta go for lunch to get a burger. Facts. Dinner for a steak. Exactly. When do they open? Every day. No. no but, what time? No, I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I think probably, probably like lunch twelve, then? yeah, ten, eleven, twelve, somewhere around there. They should do brunch mm. on Sundays. I think they do. Dang. Yeah. They got it all. I'm telling you, this place is legit. Dude. Luxurious AF. Shout out to Donnie. Shout out to Chris. Don Christos, you know. Oh, shit. Yep. It I makes will, sense. Yeah. I will say, their bar, I, I haven't seen it in person yet, obviously, but in pictures, they have like the coolest bar I've ever seen. Yeah. It's like lit up underneath. Yeah. Pretty sweet looking. Look up pictures. Don Christos Cigar Room. Yeah. It's like the first one that pops Even up. then, pictures don't do it justice. So if you're listening to this and, you know, Shelby Township and Birmingham. So you're going out there just, and, to, just to see the restaurant? Yeah. That's it. Oh, man. No, no. I mean, I'm going out there for other reasons, but, you know, I got to stop by. That's good. Yeah. You didn't want us to come with you? You're not alone? That's what I said. <laughs> do, do, you feel, do you feel alone on the strip? In the strip? Well, that, well, that too. <laughs> like but I mean, <laughs> No. On the trip. Oh no! You, no, you no. want us to come with you? I love no, no, I'm, with I'm, a stripper. You don't want us to come with you? I mean, uh, other <laughs> people. Hard other, to answer. Other people might get annoyed. I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like totally accidental? Which has happened before. I'll do this all the time. Oh, look, Jared just happened to show up somewhere, or vice versa. That's what I'm saying. Like Jared shows up. I, we live in the same town. Yeah. Well, like there's. We go to the same airport. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Find the same place. It's, it's bound to happen. We always think? have a cigar on us. Well, like for example, Mark and I wake up one morning and decide to go golfing. And we're like, let's go golfing at the Four Seasons in Orlando. And who happens to be there? Apparently you. It was me. I was there. And your girlfriend. Yeah. Which we didn't know about. So we showed up, had some breakfast. Who was Neither sitting did there? did my other one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> That was that was a funny situation. Yeah, yeah, they crashed my breakfast. I was eating breakfast over there, yeah, so, and then Alex had to was order like twenty dollar. This must have been like years ago. It was. Yeah, it was. So years the backstory: ago. Zach invited us. True, he uh, actually invited. That us. That was like and he forgot out of here. No, no, that was like a, no, he legit invited us. Oh, like, so it's the said, first time he, he said met. you guys should come. Uh, no, I said yeah. Just like, oh. Come on, come on by. Uh, you know, come on. It's, it's about time. Zach, it, was, it was a little more serious than that. It's about time to meet her. Because we know? even said like we even said something about like oh if we don't go golfing because it's like really expensive, we'll just like go do a pool party or something. Yo, you said we're going. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. He's like yeah Wait, on the golf good. course. Wait, is Jerry paying attention? Anyways, <laughs> so and then we take Zach. We're like we're on the way, and he's like what? <laughs> we're like Are you no, 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 no. That's not what no. happened. No, Alex or. Alex or you texted, you're like, I'm here, like at the house, because you guys rode, rode together. Oh, and yeah. then I'm like, I'm like, where? And then no one responded. True. This then is true. I eat breakfast and like halfway through, and I'm like, that's weird. You know, let me check their location. And lo and behold, they're on I 4, about to get off the exit to come to the Four Seasons. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And you guys go up to my room, right? Correct. Yeah. And, but I was there. You even told us the room number. <laughs> yeah you did you wanted us to come oh well yeah because at that point i knew you were there already and you needed a room number to get into the it was gated yes yeah, broke into the four seasons i should have called security dude i pulled up wearing my american flag swim trunks bro guy goes hey how's it going just hanging out for the day i was like yeah man he's like all right you probably fun. thought you lived there <laughs> okay oh yeah he didn't take our ideas or anything <laughs> yeah but that's at, what i'm saying he the knew gate, though they somewhere. asked right no at the gate, he, that's what no. he said. He's like, you guys are hanging out. Like, yeah. He's like, all right. No, not at the gate. Yeah, at the gate. we the, to... No, that was when we got out of the car. Yeah, at the valet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember the gate, honestly. The gate? He didn't even ask us. I'm pretty sure they just let us in. Yeah. Because they know me. I'm a, I'm a reg. American so. flag, swim trunks. <laughs> it's a vibe. The pool is like a freaking little water park. Oh yeah, dude. They had like yeah, they had, like grottos. They had uh, slides, water slides. The point is, I don't know why you're like complaining because Their you said this was so good. You oh, said yeah, that yeah, we were happy, happy so, so that we showed up. I was continue the story. So you showed up. He acted surprised. You know what happened? <laughs> Thank you. They Jared. crashed my breakfast. He was surprised. He didn't act surprised. 
<laughs> yeah, I was surprised. They, was they, she like, who are these two guys? They crashed. No. No, no. She knows. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> they crashed my breakfast. Alex ordered a $20 cappuccino. Uh, you told me that it was on the room. Like, <laughs> or the credit. You told me that they had credit. I did. I did have credit. He didn't have that much credit, though. <laughs> I told him I'd pay him. Actually, actually, I think I covered it because I, I think I got like 30 or 40 bucks per person a day. Mm. And there's two so, people. Yeah, and I was surprised how cheap our breakfast was. So again, why are you complaining? Yeah, because I always need something to complain about. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, drama that, queen. Anyway, but we got we got a private island at the Four Seasons. We were hung, hanging out over there. Am I private wrong? Private island. Yeah, we had like a little island section. We we're oh, hanging out. That is true. That is true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I thought you were talking about something else. I was like, no, uh, it was not there. No, no, no. But the, yeah, that's true. I remember that. Yeah, the beer was like twelve dollars. Yeah, that. that's when the fun stopped. <laughs> I saw it a good time. No, it was fun. It was really fun. But we got one beer each, and we're like, oh. Shout out my boy Jose over there, dude. Do anything for me. <laughs> anything? That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I told him to call me Zach. Dude, forever grateful. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me on a first name basis. That was fun, though. So, uh, when are we going to the Wyndham? The Wyndham? Where is it you're going? Yeah, the Wyndham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wyndham. Where is he going? Where is he going next week? I don't know. You must. Oh, the, uh, the Waldorf. There you go. Damn it. It's, it. There's only like three of them. There's only three options. Like, we would have figured it out. Yeah, the Ritz. The, okay, there's four. <laughs> Waldorf. What, what, what? There's a Waldorf, the, the Four, four seasons. seasons. And what, what else? What else would it be? I said the Wyndham. Yeah, but the, who goes to the Wyndham? I don't know. High schoolers? <laughs> yes. Prom night. Exactly. So the Waldorf. Okay. Gotcha. Thursday? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Thursday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> going to turn his phone off. <laughs> we'll leave it in Lake Mary. Smart. Smart. If you turn it off, we're going to know. Facts. All right. So but he needs to know when to take off work. Uh, I'll just take off. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. All right. So if you guys are in the area, <laughs> if you guys are the Waldorf at Walt Disney World, you know, let, let us know. Drop a comment. You know, shoot me a DM. I'll be there. You know, might, might go to Disney. We'll see. You know, I don't know. Play by ear. Oh, the lobby bar is fun over there. Fire. I was going to say, Mark and I actually have to go for business. So like whether you're there or not, that's too bad. We have to go. I've never been to it, so I'm pretty excited. (laughs) This is so much better. Look at this ash. This solid white ash, bro. That's quality tobacco right there. Not this Danish mixture that we have here. Yeah, I I screwed up my cigar by jamming it in the sink, so. Mm. Oh, yeah. You tasted all my stuff right now, huh? Mm. This is good. So when are we going? I'm going Monday to Thursday. Monday to Thursday? Yeah, Monday to Thursday. You're staying oh, yeah, for you're four for days. While. Three nights. Yeah, four days. You have to drive back every day for work? I was, I was saying in addition. No, I took off work. Uh, that's cool. Mm. Okay. Being wise about your vacation time? Kind of. I mean, I'm working Monday, but I might take off Monday. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Hmm. I might wake, up, might wake up Sunday <laughs> and... <laughs> And then I wish it was just me. Dang. Just, just like relaxing, you know. No. Facts no, because then, then I might drink too much. Help. Help. Sorry, go ahead. You know, you get stuck at that lobby bar, you know, chilling. You meet some cool people over there. Mm-hmm. Ron DeSantis. Or his friend. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember we ordered some food, some drinks. Zach talked to someone. I love meeting people at like hotels and stuff. I mean, I mean, I guess it's kind of just like bars, right? You know, you always promise you'll keep in touch, give each other business cards, whatever, you know, then you never talk to them again. (laughs) Facts. The only time I've seen like acquaintances be born, I guess, was when my parents went to, uh, um, not Naples, but, uh, um, Marco Marco, Island. Yeah. Marco Island. They stayed at the JW Marriott over there and they met um, 
they've like met this couple and her husband is like some ceo of some huge tech company like he's loaded um and he used a fake name the whole time like he you know would lie about what he did like this and that and then finally like the wife slipped to them <laughs> and my mom like found him on linkedin and she comes with me she's like she's like what's the deal i'm like i'm like he's the ceo of whatever she's like oh my god like how much money do you think he makes i'm like the probably ceo millions. of google no nah. but anyway so they've hung out a few times they've come to like mary you know i think yeah they've come to like mary they've seen our house they've you know gone whatever uh, i think they met each other in like saint augustine once like <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're buddies now yeah no, it's possible. A lot of people meet like good friends on trips. Yeah, yeah. And then they end up doing it like every year or something like that. Yeah. That's like uh, Bree, her friend that they met in Mexico, like lives in New York or whatever. And they would go like every year around the same time. <clears throat> and then I came along and I said, Do you really want to go to the same place every year? That, that would get boring, to be honest. Yeah, we, we go to the same place every week. Several times a week. That's different. Yeah, but for vacation, like, I'm not trying to say the same thing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. So many I guess it's been still. a year since I was at the Waldorf. Uh, over a little a year. over. Yeah, a little over. September was a year. September. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? No. The 4th when it- of <laughs> September? Was it the fourth? Something like that, yeah. I have it in my calendar. <laughs> this is actually like the most impressive ash I've ever seen. Take a photo. <clears throat> I can't. You shan't. I shall. Mark, take a photo. And then I'm gonna keep I'm gonna take a photo every five minutes until it falls off. That's how that's how we get our pictures, actually. Cause it's like, oh, you know, just in case like Mark decides <sighs> to bump into it. You just chills. Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> you didn't wear a jacket. <laughs> no, I didn't want it to smell like smoke because I'm going out after this. <laughs> Go where? Uh, Copper Rocket, but they're speakeasy. The tiki bar over there. What are you doing with this? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on by, dude. Come on by. Oh, is that kind of is that kind of event? Like you need me to be there. I always need you guys here for his sanity. I can already tell you who's going. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Mark, Jared, Tyler. Yeah, where all of us are going. I will not be going. All right, thanks for fucking playing with it, Mark. Goddamn, play along for like two seconds. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> that was that was going to be the joke, but then Mark ruined it. I know. <sighs> I'm excluding. I'm I'm taking back your invite to the Waldorf. All right, now I'm coming. <laughs> I'm going to tell them, be like, if you see a guy that looks like me, bigger beard, leather jacket, do not let him in. Same last name. And then Jerry walks in. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> they're like, they look at Mark, they're like, what's, what's your last name? He's like, Nicolaj. Nicolaj. <laughs> they're like, are you sure it's not Nikolai? No, 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 no. I don't even know that last name. No. <laughs> what a weird last name. <laughs> Nikolai, like Nickelback? Nah, man, that's not me. <laughs> nah, man, that ain't me. I will say, you should learn how to spell. Because, like, N I K O L L A J does not spell Nikolai. Yo, get your whitewashed ass out of here, dude. White ash, what? <laughs> it spells Nikolaj. Yeah, and, and, and. And <laughs> I don't know. I could yeah, I can, I can yeah, come back yeah. with something. Um, We're so off topic right now. It's kind of like it's just wild. I know this never happens. I will say this is probably our most off topic episode. I think. You know, you know, you know where the term off topic came from. Here comes a hot topic. hot topic. Thank you, Mark. Mark knew. Came Here from you. hot topic, and you know why? You know why? Because a hot topic. Is a topic that is hot, right? You talk about it all the time. You know, uh, TikTok, you know, uh, uh, Libby Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, you know what I mean? It's a hot topic, right? So then when you go off the topic, it just like, keep it going. You're off the topic, you know what I mean? You're not talking about the main, the hot topic. Yo, for real. You know what I mean? You know, for real. Jerry, you know, I don't know if Alex knows what I mean. Jerry, you know what I mean? 
100 exactly thank you i just you. feel like i didn't need that very elaborate explanation elaborate that was a simplistic explanation <laughs> i could go elaborate if you want me please to. please do okay so hot topic originates from the early 1200s right well it's like a lesson of the day from zach on every podcast think about it caveman making fire first time Ooh, hot Ah, oh, that was the first <laughs> word that came out hot hot they're like man that burnt that burnt you know what does everyone start doing start making fires everyone starts making fires you know what that's a topic to talk about is fires oh you're right fires are fire hot. was a hot topic when it first like when someone first was like yo i started this fire by myself bro i didn't need lightning i don't need god I gotta- to start this fire <laughs> genuine question though actually two things um, why are we not drinking whiskey right now? And two, how do you think the first person to light 27. a fire? How do you think the first person to light a fire managed to light a fire? Was it by accident? I think it was probably by accident. Was he just like, I mean, it had to be by, it had to be discovery. Like, was it lightning though? Or was he just like, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, fire wasn't discovered. The, the making the fire yourself was discovered. You know, because you got to think about it, right? They knew fire was warm, was hot. It was a hot topic, right? <laughs> they knew it was hot, right? Because of lightning. Lightning would struck a forest, you know. Forest would catch fire. They could harness that. So once they found out that they could use it to their advantage, cook meat, you know. Also, uh, that's another thing. Stay warm. What? Why did they, like, who decided to cook meat? Like, I've always wanted they just, that. They just eat. They just eat it raw, right? That you know, whatever. Agreed. Animal dies. Eat it raw. Yeah. Who was like, oh, we should p- like put it on a fire? Or did an animal catch on fire, died, and then they ate it? And they're like, wow, this tastes way better than the raw animal. So we should put it like in the fire. But then they realized that it scorched it. So like maybe we like raise it above the fire. Goes back to Adam and Eve. What? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you got the apple. Eat the apple. Right? Oh, it's bad to eat the apple. But now you can eat apples, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's then they realize, <laughs> then boom, apple pie. <laughs> Doesn't that concern you? <laughs> it, it, it sounds like we are drinking, but I'm glad we're not. We're so off topic. So, uh, actually, the Adam and Eve story makes more sense than like but listen, cavemen. No, okay, the fire thing. Who, who? How did they discover that they could create fire? God right? told them. Easy. God did. God did. God did. DJ Cal, that's my boy. You know, <laughs> Apple Surratt, why not? You know. Anyway. There's th- more? This part, this part, this part could <laughs> actually. This is all yeah. of history. Dude, they probably thought the first person that let a fire was a witch. But they could have. Like, this, this black magic bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> did you know witch hunts were like a part of like mass hysteria? Like that's why that they would like kill witches and stuff? Yeah, because they. So, Kind of like if you're, math was magic. Well, not even that. Like, like if you're in a plane and one person gets sick, everyone starts thinking that they got sick, right? Because you know, mass hysteria. You could trick your brain to doing a lot of stuff. Um, so during the witch hunts, you know, <clears throat> that that's like mainly what it was. It was a psychological thing. Like, just everyone started worrying that everyone was a witch. So then, you know, they just start killing people. But back to the caveman thing on how they created fire or whatever. I could easily see them like throwing a rock or something and it sparked, right? And they found like natural flint and they're able to uh, distinguish that a spark looked like lightning in a sense and lightning starts fire. So we could probably try and start fire with this flint that we found. Yeah, that makes sense. That I could actually see. And since it was a small spark, they're like, oh, we have to get small, like, trees. You know? Big tree, big lightning. Small tree, little lightning. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it totally could have been. Yeah, and then they could have just kept trying it. Wet leaves, wet leaves didn't work. They dried out. They tried it again. And then it worked. And they're like, oh, shoot. How do we maintain this? Mm-hmm. And then that's when they put bigger logs on there. It was more like... <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I don't know if I got the dialect down. Yeah. Exactly. But I didn't understand it. Well, that's the point. You know, they tried testing babies. <sighs> <laughs> what? It was burning my... I breathed out. Oh, okay. All right, all right. 
Well, so they tried proving that, you know, like God's language, right? His original language. His babies. They, well, they wanted to see if babies you know, if they weren't taught English or any other language in the world, Whoa. if they would learn to speak to each other in like a, um, like a certain language and they wanted to conduct this test with different babies all around the world to see if they would all speak the same language. Cause then once you see, you know, like, Oh, it sounds so inhumane, but like well, we're so it some got, massive it, citations in our description. Well, no, it got cut like off. MLA documentation. It, well, no, I mean, it got like the the whole test got cut off because yeah, it is inhumane. Yeah. You're putting babies for a lifetime <laughs> in you know in some cage, you know, basically. But that is but, like a good question though. Like if if you were by yourself from you know infant to ten years old, like, and then you came across another person. That was also by well, didn't they have to have that guy that was like raised by monkeys or whatever, raised by animals? Yeah, it's a feral he'd person. Speak, he'd speak monkey. It's called being feral, and they find you. Yeah, but 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 that's different because he speak. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Well, no, because they learn like they learn the sounds of the monkey, right? Yeah. You know, so they or whatever animal it is, they would learn the sounds of that animal and what it means. Um, like they're so saying, did Adam and Eve speak. Well, actually, <sighs> they didn't speak to animals. Oh. Not- <laughs> I was just say that Adam and Eve speak animal, but they spoke to the animals. Well, that's all. Bible, so. Well, and that's where it comes up from is like, you know, everyone spoke, everything spoke God's yeah, language. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that was like the natural language until the Tower of Babel. I'll give you a hint. It wasn't Hebrew. Probably <laughs> English. <laughs> God's language, make it a comeback. <laughs> it, was, it was goddamn American. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great theory, though, or a great problem that we should try and solve. Not me personally, because that's inhumane, but like if someone did it. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Mark just won't ever speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't hear you speak. Like they have to be in solitude. That's true. That's true. But also, like if you're feeding them, they now have a sense of entitlement and they're like, okay, my next meal is going to come. No, I'm just going to buy like 15 acres. No, like 100 acres. <laughs> Throw them out there. See what so, happens. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what's going to happen day one. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bald eagle's going to come. <laughs> Hour six. No milk. Done. Not my kids. <laughs> we're, we're warrior race. We're, we're built different. <laughs> if my kids aren't able to fight off a raccoon by two months, well. Two months is very generous. Th- exactly. Thank you. Yo, a raccoon at the house got has like fucking four kids. Damn, good for him. <laughs> you have a pet I'll, raccoon? Is it her? Uh, I mean, I would assume so. <laughs> so good for her. <laughs> Where's that? My badge. <laughs> well, yeah, he's actually a cop. <laughs> FBI, Fed. open up. Fed. FBI, open up. <laughs> Feds, man. Sir, I'm gonna need a. You, sir, you're under arrest for, for having what? too nice of an ash. Thank you. <laughs> that ash is good. I'm Check out my cigar, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm taking another pick. Yeah, get in there. Zoom in there. Yeah, do the macro lens, bro. The macro. L- a little closer. Yeah, get the macro. Closer. Don't bump into it. I got a point .5. I'll make it a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> point, point, point .5. That Dude, I think like 12 inches. <laughs> thing is massive this is basically what we do in our free time not Take basically pictures. this is what we do yeah except without the microphones and the headset but yeah so humans make fire what happens next I'm on the edge of my seat bro I feel like I'm there right now. God, dude. Dang. So, and then somehow they figured out from a fire to make a nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Which has nothing to do with fire. They're like, man, this, this rock is spicy. What happens if we shoot it? And then boom. <laughs> Damn. You know, that's how like the nuclear bomb is basically made. They shoot like <laughs> basically a nine millimeter at <laughs> a uranium ore. <laughs> and then it goes boom. 
Yeah, that's what I use for my target practice. <laughs> Just sub <tannerite. laughs> I've done that before. Tannerite? Yeah. And then the neighbors came out and thought ISIS was there. <laughs> I've actually never used Tannerite. It's fun. From what I've been told, I actually haven't used it. I love how uh, Academy sells like the baby shower Tannerite. You know, it blows up like blue or pink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn. Don't look, don't look. Put it, you got glue? Glue back on. Uh, technical difficulties. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we were at my neighbor's house back in the day. And he's, he lives on like a farm, basically. Oh, across, behind your backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got guns, obviously, as Americans do. So he's like, hey, let's have some fun. I got some Tannerite. I'm like, I bet. He's got, you know, AR-15 shotgun. I think we decided to use the shotgun for the Tannerite, if I'm not mistaken. So we got I don't think it shoots out. fast enough to explode Tannerite. Try it might. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, well, it depends on the range. Obviously, we weren't that close. Yeah, what yeah. did we use? I don't know. Anyway, we used something to shoot the Tannerite, and it was freaking loud. It was like a... And then, like, the neighbors came out, and they were like, what is that? And we were like, get back inside. It's just us. My bad. I dropped a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Are we... Let's call it. Calling it? Let's call it. We're calling it? Thank you for calling Base a Cigar. How may I help you? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We can't help you. That's some good customer service. Realist. That's it. You know where that word comes from? Oh my god. The word real. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. All right, Jared. Any uh, final thoughts? Well, on the, on the cigar? Anything? The cigar. The, the well. The, the, the pipe. It's been fun. But I need awesome. another cigar. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's like it's been fun, but um, I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to the and upload new episodes. 90% of them are more on topic than this one, but we appreciate you for hanging in with us. Check out our social media in the description as well. A bunch of short content for you to check out. Also, don't, do not, do not go to BasisCigar.com and check out all the retailers that support Basis Cigars. Until next time, see you later. Peace. Wow, that was good.